and what do I feel about? My spirit and my soul, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, my spirit, I feel like it's... Okay, so if I just say what's coming into my head, then it makes me think about my body as a vessel and my spirit as being part of everything and my body's my ship for the spirit that's in me um, my soul mm. that's, my soul's entwined with everybody else's somehow and um, even the most darkest, evilest horriblest soul is entwined with the most beautiful and that makes me feel a little bit I can really feel my ego being asked that question, wanting to make myself brilliant. And it feels alright not being brilliant. is deep, calmed, and trusted, sociable, intelligent, insecure. Flighty. I think that I don't, I don't really give too much thought about that sort of thing. Um, I guess if you're a good person, your soul supposedly goes somewhere after life, and that's all I really think about it. I think that if you're good, that's what happens, and if you're bad, you damage your soul, and that might implicate your afterlife, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, that's maybe in a similar, uh, similar area. That's something that's inside of you, um, and that you're maybe not so aware of most of the time. And sometimes you suddenly remember or reconnect with it, and um, then it's, you're really happy. It's still there and hasn't left you. Well, I see again that they're just words to this. To describe something which everybody have their own interpretation of what those words mean, really. And for me, I think um, I think we do have a soul. I think um, I think yeah, the soul is made up. It's, it's like our energy. It's, it's the essence of us. Um, all these little particles that make us make us are held together by an energy which is universal. So it kind of fits the bill in that, you know, when we die, that energy is released back into the scheme of all the rest of the universal energy. Okay. Um, my own personality, that's a really, it's a really difficult question to, to ask about. I'm not very good at being introspective and, and sort of self-searching like that. Um, but I think I have a... I think my, my sort of personality swings this way, that way, all sorts of, all, all over the place really. I, I, I'm not sure that I could say that I'm one person or, or you know, one kind of personality. I think I sort of, I don't know, that's, that is a very, very difficult question. Um, I know that I can be incredibly happy and, and joyous and uh, at other times I can be very sort of introverted and, and sort of look just solely at myself um, and prefer, prefer to be on my own, I enjoy my own company but having said that I also am very gregarious and love the company of other people so um, yeah I think that's a question for other people really more than more than me. It's easier to put that off onto other people as well. Um, 
have free I don't know what how to answer that second one. I'd say uh, I'm quite a spiritual person and I do like to explore the different directions my uh, spirit can, can go into if, if, if it's more well. And uh, what about Sam? Uh, I think that's an interesting one. I think it's quite, um, quite an interesting area. It's sort of like plunging into a, a deep pool and um, being surprised what you find. How do I feel about being asked these questions? They're difficult, they're difficult questions. And the first question feels like a list of attributes that's not really me. And the second question feels like um, I'm just making something up that sounds good. That's how it feels. Weird because there's something I never thought about. There's something I, uh, no, no, nobody asked me. And if somebody asked me, well, they have the, the opportunity to answer. And in this case, you're not answering, so I'm, I can say what I, what I want. <laughs> and it's cool, I, I don't, I, I don't uh, feel uncomfortable. Because if I say this to somebody else, uh, they will probably say it's bullshit. <laughs> I think my personality is quite bubbly, um, impulsive, sometimes to my own, own de detriment. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm a horrible person. But yeah, I've been quite warm and kind. Um, and I don't know. What else to say? I'm a bit uncomfortable <laughs> talking about my own personality. I believe we've been here before and we'll be here again. And also, life goes on. Uh, I don't have a, a typical Christian view that when we die, that's it, we go to heaven or hell or whatever. I believe that we're connected with all life in the universe and uh, there is a, an inf affinity with all life. We're all connected and related and after we die we do go on, we go on further uh, from this world as such and possibly reincarnated and come back to this world. Um, but I also, I'm a Buddhist and I believe in karma and uh, cause and effect as well. So. That's, uh, that's, that's an, an intrinsic part of life. God, um... I don't, I don't really know. I haven't really got any thoughts on soul or spirit. I've never really thought about it before. Soul or spirit? Oh. <laughs> I don't believe in any soul or spirit or any kind of illness. I just believe I'm a piece of meat with a circuit, a circuit, how you call that, I don't know, um, just wires, cables all over my brain, that's it. I don't believe in any spirit or spirituality or any kind of um, metaphysical or abnormal kind of, uh, I don't know, spirits or whatever. My spirit is constant love and light. That's it. My personality. I quite like my personality. I think I'm quite funny. And I think it depends on, like, it has a lot to do with my nationality. It's different, I guess. I'm quite straightforward as well. And yeah, that's it basically. I am a brave person and um, always full with surprises and I can surprise myself as well. But I don't really like to talk about it because that's me, only me inside and um, yeah, that's it.
that's it. Then um, my soul. I don't know. I've never really thought about my soul. Um, I'm quite free spirited, loving, um, but not really thought about it. So I guess answering those questions has put me on the spot because <laughs> I haven't really thought about being very spiritual. I'm not a very spiritual person. What do I think about doing this? Um, I think it's quite intriguing, except that I am quite ready not to have any bright light shining in my eyes at any point. And how, was I, how do I feel about being asked to do this? Um, being put on the spot with these kind of questions is difficult. Um, and I'm sure if I had more time to think about it, I'd give you completely different answers. Um, I feel quite strange about not being able to move my head, but um, I think, I'm not sure how I feel about them, but I think they're quite important questions, and um, yeah. I just go with it. I am very easy going, but at the same time, uh, uh, what I do, I do, I do what I, I like to do, and uh, I don't uh, let other people to be in front or don't allow me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, I'm a happy person. <laughs> What do I think about my personality? Um, funny, caring. Um, outgoing. Uh, it is a little bit unexpected and, and rather random. So you need to have a think what, what you know, you need to associate to give you sort of relevant answers. I don't think there's a right or wrong. Um, it's just not something they asked easily or normally you do. It feels very weird to not be able to answer a question about yourself. But there is no question, like, I don't know myself. Um... Think about my personality. The older I get, the more I'm not sure about my personality. Uh, well, some things come into focus, and but then you realise that there's more. Uh, there are more options, and uh, sometimes you feel that you're calmer and then sometimes you feel that there are still sort of things that uh, upset you or frustrate you. Those kind of things become clearer and more defined, perhaps. Um. Well, with regard to my personality, 
I think that, I'm sorry I'm going to have to blink here, um, that uh, probably it's an eclipse. I think that's a good word to use. Most of the time it's an eclipse. In fact, I think the older one gets, the more an eclipse it becomes. I think I'm quite shy and I think a lot and I can be quite caring um, and funny. Okay. Um, you don't really know what to say when you're put in the spot and kind of ask that question you kind of think, I don't know, the, sp the, the personality one is quite like, it's quite easy to say because you know what your personality is like but soul and spirit you don't really know what to say unless you're some sort of spiritual person that thinks about that stuff all the time. He never really would, kind of thing. So how does it feel to be asked to, to do those questions? Intrusive. Yeah. And any thoughts you do or don't have about this soul or spirit? Um. I'm afraid I don't think I got one, uh, so no thoughts really. Okay, so how does it feel to be asked those questions? Um, slightly intriguing, I want to know what you can do with it. I feel slightly challenged to ask about my soul. I actually have to commit myself to say, no, I don't think I've got one. <laughs> but it's not something I think about a lot. So, um, my personality, uh, I think I'm very ambitious, sometimes probably a bit too much uh, determination to get what I want. Um, fun, energetic, and a good friend. Hmm. Soul. I don't think we have a soul. I think we're just animals. And we die and that's it. All of us is gone. Finished. My personality I see as deep, difficult, kind, useful insecure, powerful, contradictory, playful, serious. I always saw, saw those sort of things as kind of like a religious sort of background behind it, especially with like spirit. So I haven't sort of recently I've thought about a lot, but it would be nice to know that it exists, the soul. It's tricky. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this question to be honest. My personality. I like my personality, I like who I am. And I'm proud of who I am. <laughs> and of course, I have stuff that I want to change about my personality, but we can't have everything. So, yeah, that's who I am. I have to embrace who I am. So, yeah, that's it, I guess. So, I think I'm quite a bubbly person. I kind of borderline on confident, sometimes I'm not so confident and I don't, I'm quite selfless most of the time. And uh, how I feel about answering these questions, really uncomfortable because I'm aware that I'm looking left or right every now and again. Um, I, to be honest with you, I don't really think about my spirit or my soul really, I don't really have an opinion. About my soul and spirit is a strong one, and it's a caring one. And um, yeah, no, I don't like to talk about them, them or him or her or whoever that is inside me. That's me. Um, being asked those questions is quite strange for me because I don't really like talking about myself and what. Um, 
what I think about myself. I find it quite weird to do that, I guess. Is that, is that right? I think my soul and spirit, well, yeah, they're inside me somewhere, but I can't feel them yet. And I'm trying, I'm on this journey to kind of trying to get more connected to my spirit and then connected to everyone else as well. I think. I think my personality alters depending on like where I am or who I'm with and things like that really and whether I feel comfortable or not. I think my personality is uh, fun and um, I think sometimes I can be quite serious and I don't really know. This is a really hard question. Okay. Um, it's not really something I would say I'd think about, to be honest. Um, yeah. Um, personality, that's tricky. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't think I like to say very much about that. I don't really think about it a great deal. Um, so I think my personality is rather multifaceted and sometimes it surprised me a little at what I do. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to be more comfortable talking to people I don't know that well, but I feel when I do know someone, I'm almost entirely open with them. It's a real question, <laughs> really difficult to answer it, really, yeah, especially when you have a camera <laughs> pointing at right in front of your face, in your eye. Well, yeah, I mean, I have no problem answering these questions. It's just difficult questions to answer. Especially when you just woke up 20 minutes ago and you had your first coffee. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. <laughs> In terms of soul, spirituality, uh, I definitely have a kind of metaphysical... Um, I suppose some kind of belief in the metaphysical or at least in something beyond the physical. Um, I, I don't know what that is and actually the thing that resonates most with me is a kind of Taoist idea I suppose actually. Um, not that I've looked into it that much or I'm practicing it but the philosophy I like very much. How did it feel answering those questions? A little bit awkward because I didn't really know what to say. Um, but interesting because it makes you think. Thinking about it, I, uh, I don't know really. I don't ever really think about it myself, but I do know that my personality does change because I probably am a lot more quieter, like for instance, at university than what I am when I'm with my friends or socially. Um, and about those questions. They're difficult. It's hard to answer questions about yourself when it's not something you've thought about at great length on your own. It probably makes me question what layering I understand of myself. I haven't really dug very deep dug. <laughs> I feel a bit flummoxed about that question, really. Uh, I guess uh, in me, and um, everybody is them as well. So in terms of answering the first question, what is my personality, I guess I would say, from which point of view? Um, from my own point of view, I probably think that I'm kind and generous and good-looking and the rest of it. <laughs> but that... But then what everybody else thinks is quite a different story. So, you know, it's very dependent upon who you ask that question. If you're asking me, I'll say I'm easy going. I think, I don't know about a soul, but I think there's, we definitely have some kind of essence that probably combines the two. Some sort of, I don't know, yeah, spirit or something like that. Um, yeah, I guess that, and I don't think that that's probably our personality as such, it's just this sort of mishmash of the 
essence of us, if that makes sense. But then at the same time, I guess it's quite, again, narcissistic for us to think that we have a soul or whatever because we are all just animals and, you know, we, we put too much importance against ourselves maybe by thinking that we have this spirit or whatever. What do I like? What do I feel about those kind of questions? Well, you can probably see by the way I'm hesitating. <laughs> and I don't really don't like those kind of personalised questions where you have to look into. And I'm going to use the word for the second time without um, provocation into into your old soul. So I guess that means that I must believe that we have soul or something um, because I keep using the word. Uh, it's part of my 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 language. Um, but yeah, no, I feel very uncomfortable about being put on the spot in those kind of questions. Okay, and what thoughts do you have or not have about your soul or spirit? Uh, never thought of that. I mean, not, not actually normally get asked for, so I only have a think. Um, really nice person, I think, inside out. Um, very genuine, very open, very honest. Um, I think there's a bad science. I'm sure sometimes when I'm angry or annoyed with the kids, I do show that a little. Um, yeah, generally, I think. Easy going, impressive. Soul or spirit, or any thoughts? I think my soul or spirit, um, as my mum says, seeing as it's the eye thing, I think that the eyes are the key to the soul, um, and that can be very true. They give away a lot, so I'm thinking that's probably what your project is about. Um, I would probably say that I think I think everybody has a soul and a spirit. I think some people don't believe necessarily that you do. And I think that, you know, I think that's, that's a sort of question you think, do you believe, that's like, do you believe in God? Um, and I think I, I do believe in God, so, um, wow, this is quite uncomfortable. Um, sorry. Um, but... Yeah, I think you have a soul and I think it's connected like with your heart and with your mind. Um, I think it's a part of who you are and so who your personality is reflects into your, obviously your spirit and your soul. So how did it feel? thinking about answering those questions? Yeah, it's been interesting. If you're in a sort of very work space in your head, analytical, thinking about um, all sorts of pressing issues and then suddenly you're in a completely different space thinking about yourself, your personality, your soul, um, it kind of, kind of makes you realise that you're not thinking about that. So that was good. I think my personality is quite friendly. I consider myself sometimes quite funny. Um, I don't know, I, tr I try and be friendly, but then again, if people don't like my personality, I don't try and change it for anyone. I'll just be who I am kind of thing. Um, so the first question was uh, about, about your own personality. my own personality. I have multiple personalities that I have for home life and work life. I have a mother personality where I can um, be at one with my child and learn how to parent. Those are two different personalities in themselves. I have work personalities that come and go depending on tiredness and stress of exam boards. 
and I have friend personalities where everything is very straightforward and easy. Okay, personality, pretty easy going sort of character, probably too easy at times, possibly a bit naive. Oh, tricky questions. Um, personality. I don't really know how to describe my personality. Um, it's a lot of, I mean, I guess there's two parts to that really. It's how other people perceive you and the feedback you get from that kind of, and that sort of reflecting back into the world and how you see yourself, which is, there's sometimes like quite a big mismatch really. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't know how to answer that. I think, I think I'm different with different people in different times and different places and different spaces. Um, I kind of see myself as quite intense and then swinging towards really spacey. Um, but who knows, who knows what other people see. Okay, and how does it feel to ask those questions? with a lens in my eyeball, a bit weird. <laughs> um, good that it was left field because I wasn't expecting it. Um, challenging because I recognise there are bits of myself I haven't had time to explore and spend time with and nurture. And interesting that it's taken me a time to answer the questions that should come quite quickly and more straightforwardly. I think about them quite a bit really. What's, what makes us up? Uh, is it, you know, I think it's a condition, part of the human condition, is to think about: you know, Are we, are we the only ones here? Or is this it, this life? And, um, is there anything afterwards? I think it's something which is kind of part of the human race, since we could kind of think, um, had self-awareness. Um, so I don't really. I, I like talking about these things. I think there's no right or wrong answer. I think um, um, I don't think it's worth killing and going to wars for about whether people believe in the same thing about what soul or spirit is. Um, but I think it, you know, I think uh, having a peaceful relationship with your ideas of what soul and spirit is does help you have a more enjoyable life. So how does it feel to be asked those questions? I like the one about thinking about the spirit and that's the sort of thing that, you know, it's quite interesting to think about. But I don't know, personality is a bit of a weird question. You sort of feel a bit, I don't know, it's getting a bit too deep really. It's almost, you know, some kind of <laughs> psychological analysis questioning what you think your personality is or what you think about your personality. Yeah. <laughs> what thoughts do you have about your own personality? Mm. Um, that's an interesting one. I haven't thought about that for a while. Um, what do I think about my own personality? It's something that just happens. It's not something that you have control over. It's something that you you are, you grow into. Um, but I'm not really a big fan of people thinking about how to shape their personality or how to influence their personality and like bend into a direction that they think is more desirable. I think it's something that you don't really have a lot of influence on. It's just there, it's just you. Well, I, I suppose it's... I have an easygoing personality, but there's another side to that because people tell me I'm a bit of a pushover and I don't really stand up for anything, so I guess I'm treading that line a lot. Um, but uh, I mean, I'm fairly optimistic most of the time, except when it comes to death, and then that depresses me and I get very pessimistic. Sorry, second question soul or spirit? Yeah, um, do I believe in some sort of, sort of in 
sort of everyday, the sort of reality of everyday life, I, I would probably say, no, I just kind of believe in, in what you can in, in, empirically see, touch, feel. Um, but actually, like many people, I would say, I pr probably would like to feel that there's something more um, than that. Certainly, stuff that we don't understand and we can't explain at this point in time. And, and so, probably that becomes, could be classified or defined my soul or spirit. Um, spirit, I think, is something different to soul. I think soul is probably that that's sort of inside you that makes you what you are, your essence, if you want. Whereas spirit, I think, is, is more, it's almost like a mood thing. Um, you can be bold and brave, adventurous, and then again, at times, you know, can be scared, nervous, timid, timid, like a like a doormat. I think that's that sort of spirit, really, more than anything else. And about my soul, I think I have a good soul, but yeah, that's a bit weird to say, I guess. I have I've never like asked myself that question, and yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know if I believe in soul. I mean, I know you have a soul, but it's. I do feel a bit uncomfortable talking about souls because I've never asked this question to myself, so I don't have an answer for it. Pretty, they're pretty cool questions. They're pretty big questions. I probably could do with a lot more time thinking about them. Um, because I think like how, a lot of the answers to the questions about how I feel, but when I verbalise things, it's more how I think and sort of it's quite a sequential thing to define things from like A to B to C this is how this is what it is in X, Y, Z situation uh, okay well I say about my personality it's a very difficult question to be objective about that but also I think we're all complex we're all complex beings in, as such and um, it's just uh, the thought that we're a collection of atoms, but we also have uh, volition and nature. Well, it's very hard to keep looking in one place, because when you tend to talk, you tend to look, I tend to look in the far distance to think, which is very strange, not being able to do that. I don't feel particularly uncomfortable, but I just, there's things that you don't really talk about normally, is it? You don't kind of analyse personality, or you know you have certain feelings about things, like you feel shy or you feel scared about certain things, but... Um, so you try and just battle through it all. I'm not extrovert, I don't think. And my husband says he doesn't know if I'm really, really shallow or really, really deep. But, uh, I don't know. It's, um, it's one of those things you start thinking about and then you drift off and start thinking about something else, like what's for tea or should I do some more washing or should I go and do some drawing or should I get on my MA project? And that's probably about all I can say about it, really. I recognise I've just come to a stop. I think I haven't had much time to explore my soul or spirit uh, recently, um, apart from as a parent. Uh, the only time in the last year where I felt more able to do that was when I was playing the piano, which I've not done for six months. I recognise that I need something that shuts down my brain so that the parts of me can become more open. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to describe my personality. Um, probably outgoing, but not when there's a camera in front of me. I have my photo taken. I much prefer to be behind the camera than in front of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so when, when I don't think that my actions or what I'm doing is being recorded, I'm probably quite outgoing and, uh, yeah. Uh, I could say I have a part of my soul is that uh, it's a soul that uh, struggling uh, to wake up. It 
trying to wake up from uh, an illusionary reality, I could say. It's a big step, but uh, it's an ongoing process. I don't know, again, I think that's a really big question. Um, I sort of feel quite connected to quite a lot of things sometimes and then really disconnected at others. Um, I think it, it sort of depends really where I am. I don't think it's a static thing at all. I think it's my soul. My soul is definitely there. My spirit's definitely there. It's definitely always been there. Sometimes I feel very, very, very old. Sometimes I feel like a I don't know, like I've just stepped out like a newborn or something. Yeah, probably not that coherent, but my spirit's there. It's it's present, it's not something out of me. Uh, uh well, I mean, the, the, I suppose the, the thing that springs to mind is uncomfortable. I'm sure a lot of people would say that. Um, but actually, I don't get asked about my personality very much, so I guess I don't, I don't think about it as a whole. I think about bits of it at any one time, but um, to try and sum it up is uh, something I haven't done very much. Um, but yeah, the, uh, and to be asked about a, a spirit, I mean, that just makes me feel like I have to make excuses because there are a lot of people who believe in these things and uh, you know I'm very fond of them and, and uh, it's a bit like being asked to talk about religion isn't it? It kind of puts you on the back foot if you don't believe. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, it's, it makes really open person definitely I think very very friendly, very open. Um, approachable, happy, generally very, very positive. Um, I'm kind of now look up and so just have a think. But um, people like me, uh, I like socialising with people actually, as well. Um, yeah, it's just generally quite easy to get on with. Um, well, firstly, personality-wise, I don't like being asked that question. It's quite a weird thing to be asked. Like, like then they always have things like, quizzes don't they of describe yourself in three words or stuff like that and I don't really know what I'd say. I think it's a bit narcissistic really. <laughs> um. I I don't have a spirit. I, I think of my soul as I mean I don't I don't believe in a physical soul so but I do think a soul is sort of if it's anything it's the essence of my personality, if, if someone was trying to describe my soul, which, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure I know what that is, but um, maybe other people could see that, but, um, I mean, I, I don't think it's a distinct thing for myself, I don't think I'd be crazy if it was. Um, initially, um, kind of uh, apprehensive, but actually, I don't mind talking about it because I, I quite like talking about spirituality, um, and um, I think we should do that more. We should we should do that more. We should get out of our economic heads sometimes and actually uh, uh, relate to who we are and where we're going, and that can that can be refreshing for everybody and anybody who who takes that kind of analysis on board. Yeah.